What's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are all having an amazing day today. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for joining up on the video. I hope everybody is having a good start to spring. Finally, we are starting that. It's starting to be nicer out. Probably gonna go give the car a wash today. So I'm really excited about that. But that's not what we're gonna talk about today. Today, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about do you need a G Fuel Shaker in 2021 and what does it do? What, what's the point of the G Fuel Shaker? Do you need it? What's going on? And what are some alternatives to the G Fuel Shaker? Let's say you don't have a G Fuel Shaker at all, right? You don't have one. What could you get from maybe the store, the gas station really quickly or in your house? What could you use that's going to work almost as good or just as good as a G Fuel Shaker? So I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys that today. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So first off, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be using some watermelon G Fuel today with the new formula to show you guys all of these examples that I have. But first off, we have a G Fuel shaker here. So if you guys don't know what a G Fuel shaker is, which some of you don't, I get, I still get questions all the time. There's always new people coming to G Fuel. So let me quickly explain it. So a G Fuel shaker is something that you can get on the G Fuel shaker on the, I'm just, you can get it on the G Fuel website. You can get this alone by itself for about $9. You can also get this shaker, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on the G Fuel website with a starter kit. So it'll come with a whole bunch of packets like these. So you can have a shaker and try G Fuel. That is what I recommend you do. I'll put up a picture of what it looks like. I'll link it down below. But that's what I recommend you do if you're just getting into G Fuel, ladies and gentlemen. You can also get a G Fuel shaker uh, by buying a collector's box, usually when a flavor first come out, uh, comes out. There's also a bundles that G Fuel has. I'll put up some pictures of those and I'll put up every other way that you can get a G Fuel shaker. But overall, it's pretty easy to get a G Fuel shaker and they're really not that expensive. So I would just highly recommend if you have the budget to spend that extra $5 when you're buying anything on G Fuel, pick up a shaker. It's definitely worth it, guys, 100%. Now, what are some benefits that you get from a G Fuel shaker? So first off, one of the first things that you obviously get is perfectly sealed. You can mix your G Fuel just like that. It's gonna mix really well. Another perk that you get, if you notice here on the side, you are going to see measurements on the sides here. So you have everything from zero ounces up to 16 ounces. And if this shaker probably fills 18 to 20, I'm guessing, right to the top. You obviously don't wanna fill it that much, but it also has milliliters. So there's measurements on that sh this, uh, this shaker, which is really, really good. So that's another really good thing about this shaker cup. And then also another thing that I wanna point out, we have an insert here. A lot of people wonder what this insert actually does. So I thought it was to help mix the G Fuel better. That's what I originally thought a few years ago. But now that I've asked more questions uh, to the people over at G Fuel, it's actually to prevent the ice from jamming when you're drinking G Fuel. So let's say you go to drink G Fuel, right? I just say a bus and bus in. If I had a whole bunch of ice in here, what would happen? And if I didn't have that piece in there, all the ice would get clogged when I'm drinking the G Fuel. So they made that little insert. So basically when you drink G Fuel, the ice stays down instead of clogging where you're drinking the G Fuel. So that is really smart. So overall, that's what you get when you're picking up a G Fuel shaker. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's say that you do not have a shaker, anything at all at home. What is your first option? This one I would least recommend. I would not recommend this one. I'm just putting it out there if you have no other options. The regular glass, just a glass, what you would use in your house to have water. I'm sure everybody has these. You know, you have it with a spoon, you put in your scoop, you mix it up. I already mixed this for a minute earlier and there's still tons of powder in it. And this is the new formula that mixes really well. I understand what people are saying when they're like, yo, shot, G Fuel is powdery as hell. Yeah, especially if you're doing it with this, where it does not mix well at all like this. So this is something that I would least recommend, but if this is your only option, at least you could do this. It just, it doesn't mix it well. 
and it's gonna be powdery and you're not gonna get the best experience out of this, but if it's your only option, go ahead and do it. But there's G Fuel, I promise you, is gonna taste a lot better in a water bottle or a shaker. So the next option that I have here, guys, is just one of these water bottles. This is just your typical water bottle, your Poland Spring. Uh, and what you can actually do and why this one works pretty well is G Fuel on the, on the scooper in the tub, they actually give you this attachment right here. So you're only supposed to fill the G Fuel up to here in the scooper, but they give you this attachment so what you can do is actually open the top of this and put it in and it'll, it'll mix perfectly um, and you won't have any powder that gets on the edges or anything. It'll go right in and you can mix it up. And something cool about this, it's a water bottle so it seals so you can go ahead and mix it up. But the problem that I have with this, most ice cubes are not gonna fit in here. And let me tell you right now, lukewarm G Fuel compared to ice cold G Fuel is a world of difference, all right? You can say what you want, but it's a world of difference in my opinion. I would recommend this, but you're still gonna get a much better experience out of the shaker. Now, next up, ladies and gentlemen, this one I actually quite recommend. So if you don't have access to a G Fuel shaker, this is one that I got at the gas station, and this is one of the only ones that I found at the gas station. I believe it was called Core Water, and basically it was the only water bottle that I found at the gas station where the opening was big enough to actually have, uh, be able to put ice cubes in here. So I was able to mix this up, put a scoop of G Fuel, and it's 16 ounces, so it's perfect for that scoop of G Fuel. Um, and basically, you can put some ice cubes in here. Mine just fully melted, but now the G Fuel is nice and cold and refreshing. So at a bare minimum, if you're at the gas station, I recommend choosing this water bottle that you can fit ice cubes into over this one. Now also, if you're around the house, I'm sure your mom or somebody in the family probably has something like this. This is like a 16 ounce regular, uh, kind of like a hydro flask type of thing. But basically this will do really well because it'll keep the G Fuel cold too. But it's about 16 ounces and it has enough room to put ice cubes in, the, in there. So I definitely recommend this one as well if you have one of these uh, hanging around the house. But in the end, you're still gonna get a lot more perks out of this G Fuel shaker and it really doesn't cost that much. If you have the opportunity, I definitely recommend picking up a shaker at G Fuel's website. I definitely recommend it. Um, it really isn't that much more, but yet again, if you're somebody who doesn't want to spend the money on a shaker and you just want the tub, that's totally fine. I definitely recommend doing some of those alternatives that I showed you, probably the bigger water bottles that you can put in the ice cubes because I really believe that G Fuel tastes a lot better with ice cubes. So definitely give that a go guys. But other than that, I hope this video helped you somewhat decide if you need to pick up a G Fuel shaker. Overall, you don't need a G Fuel shaker, but does it help it taste a lot better? Definitely. And does it help mixing it and all that good stuff? A hundred percent. So I would definitely look into spending a little extra to pick one up. But like I said, check out those alternatives at your local gas station store if the G Fuel shaker is a little out of your price range or stuff like that. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I also wanted to let you guys know a quick fact. So this water bottle was about $2. Now, if you pick up a G Fuel collector's box for $39, and you use a 30% discount on that, that's gonna be about 27 something. And if you actually calculate the price of the shaker, you're basically getting, if you use that 30% discount, you're basically getting a free shaker and more. So if there's ever a collector's box available for G Fuel, I highly recommend picking it up. You're gonna get that collector's box and you're gonna get a shaker for free basically especially if you're using that 30 percent discount but thank you guys i just wanted to let you know on that quickly before we end the video but anyways i hope this video helped you guys out if it did make sure to drop a like and use code shock on g fuel for a discount i will catch you guys in the next video peace out ladies and gentlemen